I think now I have time to tell my story. The battery went out in San Pedro Sula. Not a big problem. But as you know, my wallet was still gone. Right, so I did go to security. They checked me out and then the next stand was um, Texas. I said, Texas? Yeah, you have to pay Texas. Did you go to the booth? I said, no. Okay, go back. So I did go to the booth and I had to pay $46. Without a wallet, paying dollars or whatever you want to pay is really hard. So the guy said, go back to your spirit flight attendant stuff and try there. So that's what I did. And with a photo of my credit card and the code um, on the back side, I'm so happy I had pictures of it. And with the proof that the credit card was mine because it was my name on it and I had my passport. So they allowed me to give me $48. So I was really happy. And then I had to merge two bags into one because otherwise I would be chased. And that succeeded as well. But it was kind of the most exciting uh, airport trip ever. I was like sweating of fear that it would fill. And then I was uh, in San Pedro Sula um, without a place. Of course, I could call my couch server, my couch server host. But uh, I'm so glad, so glad that I can go to the United States. This was the fastest TSA border control ever. I did it in, I think, five minutes. Okay, America at night, you're pretty good. Here on Fort Lauderdale, a game, a match, a match. Who's gonna win? Is it a truck or is it a plane? Just arrived in uh, Newark and on my way to the center somewhere in New York. First impression of New York is it's fucking cold. It is so cold compared to Honduras or Mexico or Guatemala or in Belize. There's even snow here. Oh my god. Ubers are not allowed uh, there, but there's Wi Fi and there are the Ubers. So it's. Uh, hmm. Call this spaghetti. So now we are taking the the taxi to Manhattan and try to find uh, a friend of mine who is uh, at a double Dutch espresso bar. I already see a sign of double Dutch. Sounds like a place I need to be. Hello? How are you doing? So I'm going to hi I'm going to the Brooklyn Bridge and try to catch a sunset over there. For my next vlog, I will add something to it. 
and I will let you decide on what it is. And it is called getting out of your comfort zone. So give me some ideas in the comments so I can uh, use those ideas in my next vlog. Let me know what I should do to get out of my comfort zone. I will do this in Amsterdam, so expect, expect it in two or three weeks. And you decide what it is.